There are multiple breaking developments happening here at the top of the five o'clock hour, all as the community works to come to grips with what has happened. Let's get you caught up with what we know as of this moment. The suspect has been charged now as an adult. More on that in just a moment. That comes as heartbroken friends and family members are sharing memories and details of the lives that were lost yesterday. We're also getting a better sense of what happened during those frantic moments inside Oxford High School. The suspect in the shooting, 15 year old Ethan Crumbley, appeared in court a short time ago. He's being charged as an adult with four counts of first degree murder, one count of terrorism causing death, seven counts of assault with intent to murder, and 12 counts of possession of a firearm in the commission of a felony. We're going to kick off our coverage with Mara McDonald at the arraignment that just uh, wrapped up a short time ago. Mara. Devin, we just ran out of the courtroom, and I can tell you this. We now understand what the Oakland County prosecutor was talking about today when she said that detectives do not believe that this was a spur-of-the-moment decision. Detectives and the prosecutor in the courtroom today detailing how they found cell phone videos as well as a journal from the alleged shooter detailing how he wanted to kill his classmates. Count 5 alleges that on November 30th, Ethan Robert Crumley did in the township of Oxford deliberately with the intent to kill and with premeditation kill and murder. Ethan Crumley appeared from Children's Village and sat there as the judge read the names of those he's accused of killing and wounding. It took a substantial amount of time. Sir, do you understand all the charges against you? Yes, I do. He faces a total of 24 counts. His responses were clear, short. Impossible to see his face because of the mask. His clearly stricken parents appeared in court via video for a moment. Yeah, correct. That is correct. Detectives telling the court the accused shooter recorded videos and wrote in his journal about wanting to kill his classmates. They say this was a premeditated attack. We've had the opportunity to review that surveillance video just this morning. And what's depicted on that video, it, honestly, Judge, I don't have the words to describe how horrific that was that happened on November the 30th. Back here live, the prosecutor describing how school video captured what happened and how they say the shooter went into a bathroom with a backpack, dumped the backpack, came out, and immediately started shooting at his classmates. The judge decided just moments ago there will be no bond, and he's being moved from the Children's Village over to the Oakland County Jail.